Hello everybody, welcome back to the tips and tricks videos. Um, we are still talking about our little series of clips about commands and queues. And in the last video you got an exercise from my side. Um, and I promised that I will show you my small solution for this. Um, this is what we do now in this tips and tricks clip. Uh, so let's have a look at uh, my possible solution. Um, first of all, we have our setup, free candidates, free bothers, analog remote inputs into the dot two console. And um, I have um, created free remote inputs, um, which are triggering uh, these free button executors and I use the button executors um, to fire some commands. So I'm using commands and queues to trigger then an executor fader for each candidate. So I have three faders. Um, one of these button executors is triggering um, one fader for one candidate and some extra faders to uh, show you or some extra buttons to uh, show you if somebody is giving a wrong answer. So this is in theory the setup uh, which I have used. Now we want to have a look at the dot .2 show file. So I open up my 3D and my dot .2 on PC and over here you can see um, my free candidates. Um, these executors over here are triggered by the remote input. So in the setup remote input menu I have created free analog remote inputs which are triggering these executors. Um, if I hit one of these buttons um, or if one of the candidates hits the bother then one of these executors is triggered and with the commands inside these executors I start one of the faders for each candidate. Um, over here I can decide if somebody has given a wrong answer. This is a manual um, decision which I have to make and over here there is a queue for the winner and uh, one to reset everything. And in the master queue list, I have uh, a candidates all, which is what you basically see over here. So a kind of default situation. Uh, so imagine now um, the candidate number one has, give, uh, has pushed the bother and want to give an answer. So he's highlighted, the other ones are blue. And uh, you see over here that this fader stays where it was before. And over here we have moved two different faders to a different position. This is to make sure that none of the others can hit the button uh, and uh, screw up my lighting scene. So they, they can push the button as often they want. Uh, nothing will happen. Um, if candidate number one has given a right answer, I push the go button over here and move back everything to uh, to default. Now imagine candidate number two has pushed the buzzer, he is highlighted and he is giving a wrong answer. So I decide this one, he's wrong and now he's out of the game. I hit the go button again and my faders move back to um, to the default scene and now candidate number three is giving an answer and he's also wrong so I decide to push this button he's wrong so red and blue and now we have a winner so I can push the winner button and now I have a winner lighting scene um, when I switch this off um, we go back to default with the reset button. I can reset everything so we can start the game from the beginning. Um, this is my small um, 
show file and in the next video I will show you which commands I have used to do this. Stay tuned, bye!